In his recent tutorial, Kane T showed how he uses some mesh machine tools in his design process. He was uncertain whether you can edit a fillet like this, consisting of multiple segments. You can, of course, but the trick is to select a single segment across it, right? Like this. This is done because you really don't want to have to select all of this, if you can just select a single segment of the fillet instead. And the same is true for the Refuse tool, as it is for the Direct Unbevel tool, where you don't have to use this intermediate step and create a chamfer first. You can just unbevel it directly. Of course, this is a chamfer here, and so we use the Unchamfer tool, and here we do select the entire chamfer, which is easy to do via loop selection. Again, do you really want to select all of this to edit it? No. Select a single segment across. Any of these segments work. Mesh Machine figures it out. It's that simple. Did you know that the Loop Tools extension, for which Mesh Machine provides modal wrappers, allows you to change the segment count of cylindrical meshes? Select the edge loops, subdivide if you want to double the number of segments, then select the loops again and run the Relax tool. Or, if you want to achieve a very specific segment count, you can just add the additional number of loop cuts necessary. Then, instead of using the Relax tool, use the Space tool. Depending on your mesh, you may need to change the input method from Selected to All. One of them tends to work, and with All, you don't even have to do the parallel selection yourself. And you can even do this for partially cylindrical objects, like this one. Again, I'm loop cutting, but you can subdivide too. Select your loops and deselect the ones that should not be affected now. Then just use the space tool again. And this time, I actually need the selected instead of all input method. And there you go. Loop tools is awesome. So let's say you wanted to create a fillet that has a small radius at the top and a big radius at the bottom. What you could do, of course, is create a cut like this on each side. These cuts act as guardrails and you would then follow up with a percent bevel. Usually this works pretty well, but for some reason, there are some issues here. But anyway, it's also totally unnecessary if you use Mesh Machine. Instead of adding that extra topology, you can just create a regular chamfer using the native bevel tool. Then continue adjusting it using the Change Width tool. This then also has a taper feature, so you can do something like this. And once happy with the chamfer, you would use the Fuse tool to create the fillet from it, which gives you this fillet that's wide at the bottom and narrow at the top. Furthermore, you can use the Unfuse tool to go back to the chamfer too, because chamfers are easy to adjust, but full bevels, not so much. And then, maybe do a partial edit to it by changing the width of a few of its faces only to make a section narrow again. Finally, you could then also use the Unfuck tool to widen only individual edge loops even. And so as you can see, the combination of these tools gives you a great amount of flexibility in terms of designing your fillets that you otherwise don't have with native tools, certainly not as easily. So sometimes you have a cylinder, but you only really need half of it. And so what you would do is split the cap faces so that you can then remove exactly half of the mesh and then continue modeling. But you don't need to do that if you have Mesh Machine. Instead, you can simply use the Symmetrize tool, invoke it with Alt-X by default, then set it to Remove Mode via X, and just swipe in the direction you want to remove based on the object's local axis. And you can do this in multiple directions, of course, to remove another half, maybe. You can then also restore symmetry by disabling Remove Mode, and optionally choose Redundant Centerline Removal, or leave it in. This is quite a bit faster and avoids having to find, select, and connect the centerverts which can be a bit of a pain, especially for very dense cylinders.